Hi, my name's Campbell and in this session today uh, we're going to take you through the installation and setup of Eclipse for use with the Google Web Toolkit. Uh, there's a few little tricks and gotchas along the way so um, have a look at the video um, and you can rewind and have a look uh, to find out what you need to know. First things first, uh, we go to the Eclipse download site. Dot e Eclipse Here we go. Now I find it convenient to start with um, an existing setup of Eclipse uh, rather than the classic. So for GWT, I start with Eclipse IDE for Java developers. Now, one thing to note when you're doing GWT, uh, some features of the plugin only work with Windows 32 bit. So even if you've got Windows 64, you really want to download the Windows 32 bit. It's a wee size, so we'll uh, just take a break and come back after it's downloaded. Okay, once that's downloaded, um, we need to install some plugins. Uh, well, I'm pretty sure it will install in Program x86 um, Program Files Eclipse. So we should see that here. Uh, if it didn't, um, unzip it there if you need to unzip it. So here's uh, where mine's installed, um, Eclipse.exe. Now to install the plugins, there's a uh, few issues that people report with plugins in Eclipse. And one is when it comes time to update, uh, it just can't do it. And that's because the plugins really need to be installed as the root user. Uh, in Windows 7, that's the administrator. So the only way we can do that is by making sure that whenever we install plugins, we start Eclipse with this here, run as administrator. Let's do, I'll shift this down here. So that's what we do now. We'll run as administrator and it asks us, do we want to? Yes, we do. the plugins that we're going to install are we're going to install the Google GWT plugin and we're going to install um, Mercurial Eclipse. Okay, here's my Eclipse setup. To install the plugins we go to uh, Help, Install New Software um, and we need to alter the available software sites. So we have available software sites. And you need to make sure that you've got these available. Here's the site for the GWT plugin. It's deal.google.com Eclipse plugin 3.6. Uh, Helios, that should already be there, but just in case it's not, there you go. This Eclipse one, that should also already be there. Just uh, make sure we can see all those URLs. There we go. And you'll want the Zend one for the Zend debugger for when we're using Eclipse to do PHP development. Um, the PDT isn't available. The PDT itself is available from uh, the Eclipse site, but the Zend debugger is available separately. So this is where we get that from. Okay. You add these by just clicking the Add button up here. Okay, so then we come here and we can set, for example, the 
GWT plugin, like so. And that's the one we want. Here we go. I've actually already got it, so um, yeah, it's already installed. But you just follow uh, through and it'll be installed. So I'll just cancel. You can follow it through. Okay, one thing, when it does that, uh, when it's done the install, it'll ask you, do you want to restart? Uh, don't let it restart by itself, because when it restarts, it will restart without administrator privileges. So say no, restart later, and then you quit out of it yourself. We're back here at this folder right click and we'll run as administrator again so that it completes the plugin install. Now that's the main trick you need to know really is for all the plugins uh, don't allow it to restart itself. Uh, it will go quite badly later on. Okay, And we can see that the Google plugin's been installed because we've got these nice happy Google icons up here. And we go install new software and we'll do similarly for the Zen debugger. There we go. Again, I've already got it, so it should actually do these, calculate the dependencies and say no. Okay, there we go. Yes, I've already got it, so I'll cancel that. Um, the third thing we need is, oops, my bad. We want to go to the Eclipse Marketplace. And fetching, fetching, fetching. Uh, you can get the Google plugin for Eclipse from the marketplace, but uh, don't do that. Sometimes it's out of date. It doesn't necessarily get the right one. So uh, we're looking for Mercurial. Okay, this one here is actually uh, a paid for one. This one here is free, so we go for this one. Um, and you should be able to see the install icon here. Again, I've already got it, so um, I can't do it. Um, but you can just install it like so. Okay, once you've done all that, um, your Eclipse should be set up and ready to go. Uh, then we'll go through how to get some uh, code and just see if something's up and running.